so hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to explain you about the experiment on maxwell inductance bridge so in this experiment you have to find out the self inductance of a given coil here is the self inductance of a given coil uh, using maxwell inductance bridge so maxwell inductance bridge uh, is a mo modification to the wayne stone bridge used to measure an unknown inductance here unknown inductance is l2 that is you can see here so unknown inductance in terms of calibrated resistance and inductance so here what the uh, resistance values and inductance values so maxwell bridge is uh, actually the modification to the wainstone bridge that is used to measure unknown inductance using the calibrated resistance and inductances so let us uh, see how actually we have to find out the unknown inductance so here uh, we have the two connections first we should know the parts of this maxwell inductance bridge so this is the input resistance that is r r in terms of ohm that is r there are three values 100 200 400 so we have to connect the resistance r uh, using the positive and negative terminal we have to connect across the d then uh, here p you can see p is also the resistance values here are the uh, three different multipliers are there for the p value that is what also the resistance so here it is 100 the multiplier 100 if you keep it at 1 that is 100 2 200 and 3 300 like that uh, here if you keep it at 1 1 into 100 uh, 10 10 ohm 2 into 10 20 ohm 20 ohm plus 300 that is 3 20 ohm if you keep it at uh, again 2 uh, or 3 let us take 4 so 4 into 1 4 ohm 300 24 ohm so like that you can apply the value of resistance p and r1 here is the knob uh, to apply the r1 resistance uh, in the range from 0 to 100 ohm you can use this knob to apply r1 and then this is uh, l1 uh, the known value of inductance l1 that is 20 milli henry and here uh, unknown inductance you have to find out this is on and off button so once uh, you connect this so first uh, you have to connect the resistance r across the two terminals of uh, d that is to find out unknown inductance here uh, there are three different values of resistances fixed values 100 200 400 so we have connected the positive terminal to the positive and negative to the negative terminal then before going to switch on the device you must keep uh, the r1 resistance r1 at mid position and switch on uh, the device and also make sure that the value of resistance p must be uh, at the zero uh, all the arrow marks so they are at zero switch on the device then uh, so first uh, this r resistance fixed value of resistance r is at 100 ohm next what you have to do uh, it is at mid position it is uh, showing about 6.659 so use this knob here actually it is uh, the multiplier uh, you can uh, we have to take here uh, uh, because uh, inside the apparatus uh, there is some default so it is at 0 it is now it is at 1 so it has decreased you can see 2 again it has decreased so uh, here uh, this is the digital null detector we have to have this value between 0 to 0.08 so then only we 
can say that bridge is balanced maxwell inductance bridge uh, to balance that you we should make this digital null detector at zero uh, so that uh, we can find out the unknown resistance also so it is 1.25 if i increase till it is increasing so 1.25 then what you have to do uh, you can use this multiplier also 10 so you can see it is decreasing so again you can use this it has uh, it is decreased 0 0.88 point 0 0.75 point 0.78 it is increasing so let it be 0.78 so then use this one also so it is increasing so it is increasing keep as it is then use this knob to make it uh, 0 r1 you can adjust r1 to make this uh, di digital null detector null means what zero value we should get so digital null detector we should get zero value okay it is decreasing so you can see it is decreasing so almost it has reached minimum value we should get around 0 or 0 0.08 so right now it is uh, it is 1 to 200 and this one is uh, 10 210 so this is all uh, zero uh, anyhow so 210 uh, ohm of value of p we are getting around 0.3 so still you can decrease uh, by adjusting uh, uh, these uh, value of R, P and R1. So finally you have to get the value around 0 or 0 0.08. So here is the formula to calculate unknown resistance L2 is equal to R by P into L1. So the as we know the circuit diagram already, tabular column uh, you have to write value of R, three different values of R, L1 that is fixed 20 milli Henry p value you should note on we got 220 so they got around 200 ohm uh, you can use the formula r divided by p and multiply l1 you will get the value of unknown inductance for resistance 100 ohm like that you have to repeat for uh, three uh, 200 and 400 calculate the unknown inductance for that so for uh, 200 they got uh, 9.3 400 9.96 once you calculate these three values take the average so here you can see the calculation l2 10 around uh, 10 milli henry nearly they got uh, 9.3 9.9 average uh, they got 9.75 milli henry so at the end you can write the result unknown inductance of a given coil that is 9.7 milli henry so here in this manual they have given the unknown resistance value is 10 milli henry so near to that we got so this is how so this is how you can perform this experiment uh, it will take little time to adjust uh, the value of the null detector to zero so try to do it uh, for three different values you can find out the unknown resistance. I hope uh, this video is helpful. If it is helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.